how y'all doing again? This video going to be about John Morant. And he told Charles Barkley to get on his knees because he's tired of Charles and them talking trash. I ain't got no problem with it. Um, I have no problem with both ways. Now, old school NBA players, I understand when you see certain players who are milking it and they lack a days of cold and they're underachieving. Matter of fact, when Shaq told Donovan Mitchell that he ain't a superstar, at least he said it not enough to his face. And Shaq got the pet, got the resume to say that. And I didn't feel that Donovan Mitchell was because Utah got rid of him and Rudy Gobert. Now, Donovan's in Cleveland. He's doing pretty good. And Gobert's in Minnesota. Jury's still out. But it didn't work. That one-two punch was a stat pattern. And I, when you see certain players, I understand when you can add certain things. But John Morant is not the one. I'm going to tell you something. I think in either this year, next year, or the year after, it's coming. He could be the face of the league. He could definitely take over. I really feel that. And I do say the team, a little more seasoned and a couple of things, but they were giving Golden State some business in that postseason. Golden State beat them. And to me, that was pretty much the finals there because I knew who they beat them. They were going to beat Dallas to get to the finals. So that was pretty much the deal, silly dealy. But remember, staying some Memphis is that team that – once they get together, they're coming. And Job, he play hard. He go at it. He goes at it. You know. And for some people trying to say Clay Thomas is on the wire side, well, he might not be where he was. But remember, he had that big block against Job in a game one in Memphis. So that defense don't play like it did. Because Job's coming. Job don't be afraid to go to the hole. And to tell you something, his teammates respond to him. Yes, they won games without him and what have you, but make no mistake about it. They go as Jar goes. And Jar is definitely one of those cats that's in that same conversation with if you want to talk about Luca, if you want to talk about Giannis, those guys joke it. Uh, you know, those cats that are playing Joel and B, we want to put them in of the of today's Martin place. I'm talking about what's happening the last four or five years, guys. You know, Jar is that dude. He definitely got something to say. You know, and you can make a case with Trey Young down there too, because he puts, keeps a line on it. But just saying, old school cats, you know, when you say certain things, you got to respect the cats' game. See, the problem with Charles and, 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 and um, Shaq when they sat there and went after Kyrie, cats play against these cats every day. They know what these cats go through. Now, you don't have to agree with everything, and you ain't got to like everything. But to sit there and act like, Josh's one of the hardest working cats I've seen play. But he go at it. You know, he's coming at you. Ja is like the way Westbrook was, the way Iverson was, Steve Francis was, cats like that. But he got spring in him, too. And he will bam on you and he will embarrass you and clown you if you think that the cat ain't got no spring. And, he, you know, just like I said, work on a jump shot. You know, get his jump shot down. But Baines, you watch how they play. Oh, they definitely coming. So to sit there and take a shot at him, Charles had it coming. He's been tap dancing for so long that he's been on the plantation that he's been shuffling, grinning. Then these guys say they can say that. It's one thing when a guy can perp can correct correctly be critical of your game. A lot of Walt Clyde Frazier, Earl of Pearl Monroe, guys who play positions, they can put it and compartmentalize it in a way. But to sit there and say stuff like that, no, no, no. You know, remember, he was hating on Steph and Clay too. How many rings, how many runs they got. So don't sit there and say, because if you see a cat that's coming, hey, they're for real. They put in the work. So I ain't got no problem with John telling Charles that, because Charles is a tap dancer, and he ain't sold his soul all the way over backwards and forwards. And John is the truth. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome, thoughts, or comments, and I do respond. Thank you. And please share the video if you want to. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And you might not always like what comes after you or so on and so forth, but you got to recognize. And when you see game, you better recognize game. I'm out.